We just got our first shipment of these wonderful Adafruit kits, and today we'll be unboxing the Learn to Solder Intermediate Pack. The back says, want to learn soldering but don't know where to start? This pack is perfect for the maker who wants to learn how to solder or hone their skills. It includes a bunch of different kits, and we're going to find out exactly what those are. Upside down. Here we go, okay, there's a label on the top. <clears throat> So this is an introduction to soldering kit, and luckily it includes the things you actually need to learn how to solder. A soldering iron. This is an adjustable power soldering iron. So it says it's adjustable between 16 and 30 watts, which gives you between 500 and 800 degrees Fahrenheit. So pretty high powered iron. They also give you a stand with an attached sponge that you can wet, clean the solder off, and just something to keep you from having to put your soldering iron down on the table, which is kind of dangerous. Nice of them to include that. They also give us solder. So this is 0.5 millimeter solder, 50 grams of it, which is a really great width. It's not too big that you're gonna gloop it all over the place. It's not too small that you end up going through the spool really quickly. Great size, gave us some solder. We can literally start soldering right now based on this. The other tool they included is some flush cutters. I don't know if you can see that, but they actually cut leads flush against the back of the board. So once you've soldered in a through hole component, you use these to clip them off and let it lie nice and flat against the table. So that is also very nice for them to have given us. Ooh, and these are the kits. Okay, so. See what we've got going here. So this is the Metro, which looks a lot like an Arduino and functions largely the same. It's a little bit different, but is actually made by Adafruit. It has a similar processor on it, but some other little features that we'll talk about in another video. What they gave us with that, besides sticky feet, to keep it from sliding around, is sets of headers. So you can solder those in, solder right along the back here, and you'll have headers just like you would on an Arduino. If you don't want that and want to solder directly to these pins, you can skip that, but if you're just learning to solder, this is a really great basic way to start. So we've got four headers and one more header. I'm not sure what that one's for, but it goes in there like that. So that's the Metro kit. We also got the Minty Boost kit. It's one of Adafruit's, I would say, most famous kits. I'm glad they gave it to us. So what this does is takes two AA batteries, which are 1.5 volts each, so about three volts, and using this little PCB that sticks right on the end there, converts it up to five volts. They even give you a USB Header. So you can use this to charge your phone, anything that you would need a USB power source for on the go. They call it the Minty Boost because this happens to fit perfectly in one of the old Altoids gum containers. So if you have those lying around, this is a great use for it. PCB, this is the actual regulator. It's a linear tech part. Connector, some big capacitors, little capacitors, resistors diode, all kinds of good stuff. And there is a tutorial on the kits page for when you get ready to put this together. Okay, so that is the Minty Boost. The last kit they gave us is the Mini POV4 kit. Now this is easily the most complicated of the kits. Look at all that. <laughs> the idea is that with this PCB, you put seven LEDs, RGB LEDs along here, and then it's pre-programmed and then you can program it yourself later and move it back and forth to create long exposure light art. Pretty neat. So POV in this case means persistence of vision. This is one of my favorite boards because it really acts like paint by number when you're soldering. It tells you this is the at mega chip. It tells you LED one through eight. It gives you the resistor values. So these are the 47 ohm, 2.2K ohm, 
everything is mapped out very easily for you. You literally could, with this amount of information, make it work. It includes a battery pack for you. The batteries itself are not included, so you'll need to grab a couple of those. I also love that they gave you sockets to solder in, and then the actual chip is separate. So if you get too much heat on anything, it's just gonna be the socket and you're not gonna hurt the chip. So there's no concern there. These are really pretty foolproof kits, and I think you're gonna have a fantastic time learning to solder with them. This has been the Intermediate Learn to Solder Kit.